If you're working on a game or an animation and really need to get optimal performance out of it, you can use what is called Sprite Sheets, which can be easily generated from Flash Professional CS6. And what I want to do with this movie clip right here, which happens to be a nice little animation, is I can go ahead and just select it and generate a Sprite Sheet from that movie clip. And I can even select multiple movie clips if I want. So you can see it here, the sprite sheet, I can scroll down through it, but it's better just to select the preview tab to give you a good idea of what's going on. So back in the sprite sheet, uh, probably the first and most important thing I want to talk about is EaselJS. So this is an open source JavaScript framework that you can really take advantage of. And it's actually, um, I'd say, geared toward Flash developers because when you look at that code, it actually looks a lot like ActionScript. So nonetheless, this is going to be HTML content, which is what I'm making. So I have that selected. I'm going to go ahead and trim this sprite sheet as I check that. You'll see a little bit of a shift as it compacts all of these graphics, makes it a little more efficient, as well as stacking the frames. So it gets rid of any duplicate frames. Okay, that's all I'm going to do is check those two boxes, browse to my desktop where I will save this out to, and then I'll just click Export. All right, let's take a peek at what was generated because what I have now is this JavaScript file and then the PNG file. This is the sprite sheet. But let's take a look at this JavaScript file. Just peek under the hood at it. So here I am in this JavaScript file. Uh, it looks pretty complex. It's just coordinates for all of those frames and that's fine. I don't need to mess with any of it. I just need to be mindful of this name SwimDog right there. So if I ever need to use it, say for instance on my HTML page, I can do so. so on this HTML page, you can see for this uh, HTML canvas element, I'm creating these new swim dogs. They're being placed at random positions uh, in, on this canvas uh, right here is where we have the add child as well. So you can see it really starts to look like action script, which is great. All right, lastly is just the big payoff, which is just going to be running this file. You can see easy enough. There's my animation playing really well using Sprite Sheets and Easel JS. So I encourage you to check it out, give it a try for yourself, and you'll really notice you'll be able to get that great performance.